The reason of luxury probably is because people don't want to be the same. They want to be better, more successful, yes. more powerful. No, they want to distinct themselves from the other one. As you all know, I'm part of the family. When I was very young, 12 or 13 years old, I was already thinking about business in general. And I was more interested in thinking about a company or the business than to think about surgery. My, my father was a surgeon. And during my university, I was always talking with my uncles and, and they offered me to come to the company. And of course, the base for the success that is the luxury concept is something generated here, okay? It's something that we had. My grandfather actually started implementing it in the 50s and 60s. Well, I started working here in 1981, and then uh, I became CEO in uh, July 1984. What was Bulgari like then? was actually a very prestigious name. Already, with a very high awareness in Italy and very low awareness outside of Italy. Imagine was to transform this small concern into a big thing. I started basically with a very conservative marketing strategy that was to repropose the same marketing mix into the markets in which we were not present. My relationship with P&G started before Gianluca in the sense that I was a very good friend of a certain number of people. Yes. Uh, one of them is Tony Belloni that became a COO of LVMH. This was at the beginning of the 80s. Yes. And I started going out with Tony and some others. And little by little I learned that world of management was something that I didn't know at all. Yes. And they started teaching me a certain number of things. So here are you, hungry. Exactly. Hungry. So I started hiring ex PNG people like Gianluca because I was basically importing here some techniques that were totally absent in a company that was so small and Italian. Luxury is still a business in which your personal judgment is very important, more important than in some other businesses probably. If you are in the consumer goods market, you manage a company getting a lot of detailed information. For example, you know exactly every single month what you have sold yourself, but also what the other ones have done. This is the business in which the information is available out of thing, because you know what you are doing, but you ignore basically what the other ones are doing. When uh, you make a decision, it's much less educated probably than... Uh, educated maybe it's the wrong word, but it, it's, it's more entrepreneurial. You take more risk. You know, you have to launch a product. Yes. And this product is not like in some other businesses in which have uh, has to have a specific performance. And if the performance is there, it's a good product. Yes. The, the image, the, 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 the allure is, is much more important than specific performance. And you have to judge from scratch if the other is the right one or not. Uh, it's a personal thing. How do you design them? We have different business units for different product categories and each business unit has a marketing director and a guy in charge of the business unit. These people are responsible for analyzing basically the market, uh, meaning the clients on one side and the competitors on the other side and try to understand what they are doing, which is the offer, product offer these companies and then come up with a proposal, let's say, of new products to be developed with the different characteristics in order to have something for the future that will complement what we are offering today. Then they give a brief to the creative people and the creative people have to respond to the briefs. It's also true that the creative people have the responsibility to go around and try and understand which are the trends. How do these people know what's going to be ahead? What isn't going to be a hit? Well, that's, every now and then we are right, and every now and then we are wrong. Then we know it's not said that always we. But what are they looking at? I mean, for example. Well, you look at, I mean, this is something that I do also, and, and the guy in charge of the style does. You go around, you look at people, you try to understand which are the trends in terms of uh, style. Uh, you go to the restaurants, you go to the hotels.
you, you get from the socket chain a number of things. But two, you might be very important. First thing is that you are pushed to find new ideas, new things, because you need to perform. Then you have to launch new products, think about tomorrow. And second, uh, through stock options, gives you the possibility to transform at least the most important people uh, of your company into an entrepreneur because they know why I'm here until midnight because the company is mine too.